Hey man, he was in my face. I'm in your face. I uh, basically gonna put some cars into some of the cases that I've got some loose cars that I've picked up. And uh, so I thought, you know, it's probably a good time to show off the collection a little bit. So um, I know people have expressed interest in like seeing what I've got loose. Um, again, this is this is far from like my whole collection. What this is is loose cars, cars I've freed from five packs or Cars I found at thrift, mostly. Um, a lot of them too, my wife finds at thrift. So she gets some of the credit too. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna put some of these in here. So I'll have the case open, a little bit of uh, case porn. Um, I have a stock car, a growing stock car collection. I actually found that O2 car. Uh, on a shelf in my office. Um, I, uh, you know, uh, I, I've said before, I was really into stock car racing at one time. It, to me, uh, probably around 1988 or so was when I really started to watch that instead of other team sports. And I got really way deep into it. And um, recently I've stopped watching stock car racing. So I'm gonna put some of these in here. I will try to identify them as I am put them in, putting them in. But um, this is actually one of the, um, this is one of those Hot Wheels that you could actually charge up. And then, you know, it had a, uh, an amount of um, drive time in it. Um, I forget what these are gonna these are called, but I guess I'll look it up. Um, I really kind of thought that the body design was kind of cool, so um, I grabbed that. I have, don't have any um, I don't have any uh, preconceptions about that thing ever moving again um, <laughs> on its own anyway. Um, this is uh, it says made in Great Britain. It looks to be sort of a a Mercedes knockoff, like a sedan. Um, and uh, I just, I picked it up for a buck at a thrift shop because I thought, wow, you really don't see too many things that say that they're not made in Taiwan anymore on the bottom of it. I don't know how old it is. It may be a little older. Uh, recent Matchbox, um, the... Uh, this is the DVR-1, Aston Martin DVR-1. Um, a lot of this body design sort of went into the making of the Mach 5. Um, and so I've always kind of dug the profile. <laughs> um, this was a, was a super interesting one. Um, I'm, maybe somebody out there can tell me a little more about it, but uh, it's called the Catapult. And it has a uh, hunchback on it. Um, don't know too much about this car or the casting. Um, just again, you know, thought it was a wild paint scheme. Thought it was kind of a cool looking car. Um, not really certain what its backstory is. I'm sure somebody out there will be like, in the comments, will be very helpful. Um, but that does have a date on it of 19, 1998, which just uh, usually determines the um, original design. That doesn't mean that this was from 1988. More than likely, it's a lot newer than that. Um. Uh, some of these cars have been in old episodes, um, previous stuff, the tail draggers here, um, you know, most of this stuff you've seen if you've watched any of our, um, Polk County Fleas, because that's where we pick up a lot of these cars. 
Um, if you haven't watched our Polk County flea market stuff, why haven't you? Um, anyway, I will flip this case over. This, this one's actually just, it's all full on this side, but it's empty on the other side. So I will put the other cars in and let me just flip the case. By the way, what you're listening to, the snoring, that is my 11 year old bulldog. So... I'm sorry if that's bothering anybody. I just don't even hear it anymore. Um, so, again, Jez says sorry, but she's napping. Um, anyway, let's open this up. And uh, let me just show you the... Uh, this is a really sweet case. Um, I've done a little sort of thing on these before. But it's uh, they hold several... Uh, cars per side and um they're super cheap and they hold together nice and they stack nicely too they have a nice carrying handle on this side um but um they're made out of some fairly decent rubber plastic and you know like like good tupperware um uh, this one is a it's a, uh, it's a, a beach enforcer. It's got guns on the side of it. It's loony, just bug nuts. And I love it, really neat looking. Um, not, again, not really sure of the story on this one, but the uh, casting date on it, it says 1982. So it's, these are older design. I, I've seen a few of these. And I, I do have a buggy on the other side um, that looks very similar. Um, this one he found recently, um, you know, yeah, we come from the Firebird generation. Um, this is a severely cheap one, of course, but 1982, um, you know, that Firebird classic, it, you know, I knew kids who had one of these, and uh, they were they were pretty pretty neat little bug cars. Anyway, I'm waxing nostalgic. I pro I, I'm sorry. Um, the recent Roadrunner, Holly, uh, Hot Wheels Roadrunner. Lamborghini from that uh, five pack I did uh, open on a couple of uh, a couple of episodes ago. I really like the purple. It's a neat color. I keep telling my wife to look at this in the sun, and then she'll want it. Uh, <laughs> she did one of those. Oh, that's a neat five pack, and then ended up dumping all the cars in my lap. Um, she just collects flames and she, when she sees a neat five pack, she can't get away from it. She's wonderful that way. Uh, the GT40 in the Gulf livery, the Lotus Esprit, yeah. the Nissan. This is wonderfully detailed. I think the the, uh, the the decal work on this is just really good. Um, even though the back end isn't done, the front end and etc. just looks fantastic. Love the paint job. Um, there's the Packers slash Ducks Aston Martin. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, we've got a couple of, you know, goofy ass slipstream fantasy cars from Hot Wheels. Um, just like the designs on some of them, like, um, in the, in this case, this, uh, sort of orangish shell comes off of here. And then it, it reveals a much different paint job and a cool little interior. Um, you know, when you see this car in a pack, 
because it has this like sort of fantasy plastic shielding over it, you might be tempted to just pass that by because it just looks, you know, goofy, right? But I bought it and opened it and I took that off and I was like, man, that's actually really sharp. Wow, okay, now I see it. <laughs> so um, I do have a few of those here and there. Um, and then the last two I've got are the classics, of course, which is um, the uh, Twin Mill, a uh, very recent Twin Mill, uh, yellow and blue paint scheme. And then the recently acquired Flame Bone Shaker, which... It's just gorgeous. I love it, and it's the matte finish and the no hole in the lit, in the roof. There's usually there's like a sunroof cut out in here. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you some color shifters because. Um, lots of people pick these things up. Nobody ever really shows you what they do. So we're going to kind of do that for you now. Um, we've got lots of dogs and cats that are around us. So if you hear hissing or snoring or barking, I'm sorry. All right. Are we ready to open other two? Mm-hmm. All right. So okay. First off, we're going to open these other two. Um... Here's the backstory on these. My wife and I both drive uh, Cyan XBs, so we picked that up. That's I drive cool. the old school model, and he drives the more modern yeah. style. Yeah, my wife stuff. has the toaster. I have the one that you know supposedly looks like it has some lines to it. Uh, this next one is one I picked up yesterday. It is called the Fished and Chipped. Not sure why but it's got red windows on it. I thought it was kind of a sleek looking ride and um, it looks like it's going to have a dramatic shift in the color. So there goes my wife opening that. In. And I'm sorry, those who love to save package, I am. Okay, <laughs> okay Rob. Open. All right, now I'm going to focus in on the yellow towel area. What we have here in front of us is some ice water and some warmed up water. Um, the warmer and more extreme you get it, the more your color is going to shift. So hopefully Let's some of these will look like they are supposed to. This one may be the least dramatic, I think. Yeah, let's start with that. Oh no, that the flames come out. It does. All right. Look Next at one, the that. blue. Oh, oh, that's badass. And that is quite a change. That is bad. Speaking ass. of which, I'll... too late. Orange one's in. Oh, oh wow. fun. That's a fun color. Now watch him sit here. We're going to see how long they take to turn back yeah um this one i'm really excited to see the further. green i'm really okay. excited for the green the green truck turns completely white that's incredible with flames though mm-hmm well we knew that we, i know i knew, I knew that but... the xb was gonna have some flames so. uh-oh i've dripped on the lid of the purple dump it duck it so that hey, that's really, a really cool quick change purple. that's cool it goes from that that, that deep Bam. violet purple to, to deep blue. That is so cool. So now we're gonna lay these out here. And um, I guess I'll just show real quick that I could pick up this yellow and I could plunge it in ice water, pull it back out. And it changes completely And I could go back. right back into the yellow and right into the blue. Yeah, and, and they just, they change like magic. It's not like, Oh, the paint scheme takes a little while. It's, no, it's bang. 
It's instantaneous. Here's what we haven't done though. We haven't left them color changed to see how long to it takes. To see how long it takes to go back. deserve it. I was just saying, I was just saying that I was abusing you and that you don't deserve it. <laughs> that was nice of you. I love you. Yeah. See? Okay, I understand the actual message, but that's unfortunately worded. Blankets. Oh my goodness. Set them on fire. The Holy Virgin. Your drug tests. Your pregnancy tests. And your ovulation tests. Whatever this shit is. When you travel with my wife. On a Sunday, don't intend to get home anytime soon. We're moving on to another store. We were just in a Dollar Tree. We found a couple of Matchbox. One I already had, but uh, I wanted to Sorry. get another one. It's okay. Don't mean to scare everybody. Uh, you you drive, I film. I edit that out. That's so unnecessary. That was a big brick in the road. Woo! Watch can the road. My, can I get my bra strap adjusted and can we try that again? Because I'm a mess. Sorry. But I got this off the shoulder sweater thing going on and I'm looking like a weirdo. Big ups, orange peel.
My wife got a blind ball. She's such for a sucker for a dollar. For a dollar. Here's what my options might be inside. I can't go wrong. Like an owl, a unicorn, a cactus, a panda, a dino, or a what? Frog. Frog. I hope we get the frog. I hope I get the frog. I actually, I wouldn't be sad about any of them, but I want. Ow. I have such bad hangnails. Feel bad for me out here. I'm not. Wearing... At least you don't have a bunch of really bad dirt on your thumbnail this thing. <laughs> Like you were just out in the garden when we filmed that last one, and like he came in and you're. Yeah, but look at my bleeding cuticles. I'm just. Fingernails look like Andre's. Hey. Hey, Milton. Don't do that at home. I just used my teeth. You just used your teeth, but you didn't um, watch. I still can't get under it. Get, get desperate and use a pen. This is four and up, so take the plastic off for a four-year-old. Okay. He'll just cry. That was hot. Okay. Blind ball. Panda. A panda. It's a cute panda. This is really cute. So I gotta say for a dollar, he's she, he, it, they. It's very soft, pliable. Um, sex toy? Cute little thing. Ooh. Sex toy or no? Oh my god, if you could put a little battery in there. Sex toy. I'm thinking uh, sex toy, but I think sex toy a lot. Oh my gosh. Can we go back and get the unicorn? No. And the dinosaur? And no rabbits either. The first 80 foot range. It's a bunch. On the bottom, maybe. Twenty four ninety nine. That's all. That's hilarious. That's incredible. That's a great price. Hey, because um, we got a note from a viewer about Joanne Fabrics. We're going to go in and see if they've got the same kind of car cases that we use, but they're priced differently, or at least not from Hobby Lobby. The good news, they have the exact same thing. today we are um on our way to uh make a final check on these car boxes and we're going to see who charges what for what and the reasoning behind going to one store versus going to the other the short answer uh is that they don't carry these things um the company that makes them i believe is called creative solutions they do not carry them at walmart they do not carry them at target in store anymore Maybe you can order them, I don't know, but I don't want to talk to the service desk that much. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to go to Hobby Nobby. Slob my no Slob a lobby. We're going to go to Heb. We're going to go to Habish Labish. And uh, I'm going to show you why against that Joanne Fabrics. I'm going to show you why we end up shaking hands with the devil over at uh, Hobby Lobby. God forgive me. Wait a minute, this doesn't quite make sense. God forgive me for going into Hobby Lobby. He's not gonna do that. So that's why you gotta get the cases where you gotta get the cases, everybody. The, um, you know, I'd love to go to Joanne Fabrics, but uh, the best price I can find for them is online, and that is still uh, 10 something, basically $11.
and um, everywhere else, uh, sometimes almost double. So, you know, with the hobby being what it is, if you can save six or eight dollars in the purchase of some cases, um, I think that most of us are going to choose to do that. It's unfortunate sometimes that um, such a purchase requires that maybe you do business with somebody minimally um, that maybe you would prefer to, you know, stay away from. Hey, the truth of it is I'd love to stay away from all plastic. I'd love to stay away from you know, use of, of any of that kind of stuff for any of the hobbies. But the fact of the matter remains that plastic is going to be in the packaging. Plastic is going to be in the construction. Plastic is going to be in our bloodstream. It already is. I'm not saying that like, oh, well, but um, it's a tough one to get around, ain't it? I went into uh, Fred Meyer on my way home and um, I found um, a couple of cool things. I found a couple of cool things. Um, I found a couple of these really beat 57 Chevys, the flames. You know who the flames are for. And one for my collection, because I like these trucks. Um, along that line, found a white Liberace, um, La Troca, I don't even want one of these that much, but, and the card is beat. I just felt bad for it. So I brought it home. Uh, the Toyota Celica in the really vomitous seafoam green. Found a 67 Chevelle SS with the Osley on the side. Um, didn't have that. And, um, then the two best things I uh, saved for last. One is um, I'm going to, uh, I got a, a, a Mickey Mouse steamboat for my grandson, Kale. Hi, Kale. He's like super into Mickey Mouse right now. So this is yours, my, uh, my grandson. And uh, it is yours the next time we see you. I will just give it to you. And then I didn't want the damn thing, but now I have one. So I, this is all, I found a cyber truck. <laughs> so I'm with you, Maggie. It's ugly, it's stupid, and I paid a dollar for it. Anyway, um, but I got, you know, points on our Fred Meyer card. So it's a good thing. All right, time to uh, arm up for the ride home. Uh, thank you very much for coming out to the Monkey Shine Lab and uh, checking out a little bit of a toy hunt today. If you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember also to renew, reuse, and recycle. And um, we'll see you next time on the Monkey Shine Lab. Thanks.